Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Ken, the host of Rental and Roof. And as most of you know that I've been watching or when I watch my previous videos on this channel, um, you know that the other day my flip video camera, my flip ultra, uh, flip video ultra HD, capable of recording two hours of 720p video, basically bit the bullet as it were. Uh, it had some cracks. I tried to fix it. It would stay powered on for about five seconds and quit. I tried to set the date and time on it. It wouldn't stay on long enough to, I mean, you'd set the, set the month and then go set the day and go set the time. It would, it would just, like, kick off. And I did that several times. Okay, numerous times. Uh, I got different batteries and tried it. Recharged the batteries, tried it again. Um, so, it wasn't the batteries. It was the camera. It didn't... It needs to be. It needs to be replaced. I don't have one right now, and basically, I retired the camera. And I'm trying to think about what to do with the camera itself, uh, whether to keep it somewhere or store it up somewhere, or tear it apart, just trash it, or tear it apart and look at it and see if I can figure anything out. And so there were several options that I went through to figure out what am I going to do with this camera. It's no good. It has. It serves no purpose. It has served a lot of good purpose. I've used it for years and years and years, but it's no longer any good. So I took the time to take it apart, and this is the main, I don't know how in focus that will be, but this is the main part that is the top right here. Uh, these little things right here is where the batteries would go, and this would be one end, and then of course there would be part that's in the case that's missing it's gone but so you've got I don't know if you can see this is the actual camera right here and this is the battery connections for the double A batteries and up here in this little groove right here we can see where it's grooved out is where there was a microphone um let's see what else of course you've got several there's a button right here I don't know if you can see that or not you might be able to hear that I don't know if you can hear that or not but anyway, there's a little button right there, and there are some things that were plugged in here and here, and so it's a neat, it's a definitely neat looking little thing, and it's got one, two, three, four, see if you can go, it's got four microchips on the front side, and it's got one, two, there's two. Oh, yeah. Basically, yeah, there's just two in the back. So you've got two chips here and here. And let me tell you why I think this is amazing, okay? Um, I couldn't b build or make anything like this in a thousand years, okay? Well, maybe a thousand years. But, um, if I had the resources. But this, to me, is very amazing. Two hours of 720p video fit onto... One, two, probably this one right here. I'm imagining this is the storage one, but I don't know. But one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm imagining part of that is the processing power, and part of it is storage. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one this is. Um, it's hard to read. It's so small. Zoran. And there's a number that says... It really is hard to see. It's so small. It's a ZR38482 gigabyte CF. So that's the memory card right there. This big one right here is the memory where all the videos went. Now I want I want to say something. Two hours of 720p video HD video on this little microchip. I'm sorry, people, but that's amazing. <laughs> that's like. Mind blowing. Now this is uh, a mini, um, a mini DV tape. It has 60 minutes, or if you set it to long play mode, it can do 90 minutes. Uh, so depending on what speed you put in your play, uh, recorded in your camera, you, it, it's rated at 60, but it says long LP90, which means basically your cam the camera I had was the XL1S, and you could record. There are two different speeds you re could record at. And to make the tape last longer, of course, I recorded it 90 minutes per, or at the 90 
minutes per tape to make the tape last longer. Um, but this is the mini DV format. This holds 90 minutes, which would be an hour and a half, okay? Um, so, I went from 90 minutes to this, which is uh, 120. Plus, this can be reused. This can be reused too, but it's not quite as easy or as quick. Um, this can be reused, reused several times, no big deal. This was reused literally thousands and thousands and thousands of times. I've used this for several years. Um, this is this is made to basically record stuff one time and and archive it. Now, again, you can you can erase it and reuse it if you want to. But the main purpose of this is to record something, archive it, put it in your storage, and keep it for later use or later viewing. This is meant to be reused hundreds and thousands of times, which is well something I've done. But um, I just look at where we've come technology-wise. I went from this. This was my first. I never had um, a Betamax or a VHS video recorder. Growing up, a lot of people I know had the VHS, you know, we hold it like this, and it's like a camera, and it's got the VHS, VHS tape on the side, it pops open, and you put the tape in, VHS tape in it. Never had one of those. Um, so, getting the XL1S was like, um, for me back in the day, it was like the big, big purchase. In my Outside of paying for the Hobart Institute of Body Technology training for, after high school education, it was the biggest purchase I'd ever made. Um, Except for maybe the car. Well, maybe the car would be yeah, the car was bigger. But aside from the car in school, it was the biggest purchase I'd ever made. And I was very excited to get that camera. Um, so, and at the time, this records 480. This rec recorded 720p. 480p, 720p. 90 minutes, 2 hours. Or an hour and a half, 2 hours. 1.5, 2.0, basically. But um, it's just amazing to me. It's, it, it truly is that when you think about technology, the fact that you can get you can get two hours of video on this little itty bitty, itty bitty chip right here. I mean, that's just mind blown. It's, it's really cool. Um, now, of course, nowadays you can get a lot more because this is old. This is an older technology. But nonetheless, two hours in this little EB chip, very impressive to me. When you consider 480p, two uh, hour and a half, this is very impressive. This is, both of these, by today's standards, are out of date. So, but my, my 720p camera just died and took it apart. I was looking at it and it just. It's, it's pretty, I mean, I've taken all these things apart. I've seen lots of these old circuit boards, like calculators and different mechanical devices, or electronic, not mechanical, electronic devices. And it really does, it just, it never ceases to amaze me that that right there, that little chip right there holds two hours of video. Uh, maybe I'm just impressed easily, maybe it's just, I've been along, alive long enough to see where it's come from, where we went from film to digital, and now digital video, and two hours on that old chip, it just impresses me. So I, I thought it's definitely worthy of a, a video. And um, to you, give you a little history of where we've come from, where we've been, and kind of where we're going. So I'm currently without a video camera, except for the one built into my computer here that I'm recording this video on. I don't have any portable video solution right now. So um, I'm hoping for something out there. Um, so I'm praying about that. I'm trying to figure out a way to get some money, or I don't know. It's just right now I don't have a portable video solution. So anyway, um, so that's not a concern. But anyway, I just want to make a little video showing you my uh, or showing you what the insides of a flip video Ultra HD looks like after it's been taken apart. You know, there it is. That's the front. There's the back. 
and the, the number uh, the barcode is zero one one zero nine zero six one six zero six one four seven. There's more numbers on this one right here, but it's, they're really too small to. Yeah, I can read some of them. But just, they're, some of them are faded, and it's just. So, oh, my screen just kicked on. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so. Past, present, and future. Until next time, I'm Kenny Lewis from Around the Roofs, and thanks for watching. Have a good day, and God bless. And as always, no matter what you're using, keep taking those pictures and making those movies.